Go ahead, bro. Well, yes, this is Edward Brown. I'm um, I'm currently incarcerated due to um, Phoenix PD shooting me in my back. And after they shot me, they wanted to just clean it up by targeting me and setting me up on false drug charges. So at this point, I'm locked up. Um, and this was part of their plan. And um, it's, it's wrong because I'm not the only one that's going through this. Um, Phoenix PD, and just not only Phoenix PD, it's police all over the world. They, they are shooting black men without any repercussions behind it. The fact that um, George Floyd family just got justice opens up a door for myself and others that has been wrongfully shot by the police officers. Mm-hmm. Now, this happened to me in 2018. I am still dealing with this currently at this point. The attorneys that I had for the for the the case originally come to find out they were working with Phoenix PD in some type of way, and they actually withdrew on my case. This call is originating from the Maricopa County Fourth Avenue Jail. And sent false information out to people that I um, I used to associate with about the the um, the new case, which is drug charges, and they told them that I wouldn't um, want to get any compensation from the, the police shooting me on my back. So right there it caused me to actually lose those um, those associates. So uh, I currently don't even speak with them anymore. They are the people that's on my YouTube videos, on the press conferences and the documentary. I no longer speak with those people anymore because of the false information that Sandra Satan sent out to them. Um, it's it's kind of um, okay with me because, you know, when you go going through things like this, you need strong people in your corner. Mm-hmm. And the people that is in my corner proves to be the people that I originally should have been dealing with from the jump. So... Um, God makes no mistakes. You cannot do anything and get away with it. All of us, we read what we sow. So those people that made it look like that they were just only around for money after they was initially told there was no money coming, um, I am a living witness that that was false information given to them by Sandra Slayton. Um, another thing is, since I've been currently locked up, the medical attention that I have been getting has not been the medical attention that I am supposed to be getting in my condition. I am paralyzed from the chest to the bottom of my feet. Um, I don't get any type of any type of therapy, which is limiting my chances of ever walking again. Mm. And this is um, information that I have gotten from my doctors um, out there on the street. The fact that I'm not getting any therapy is 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 wrong. It is wrongful in this within its own self. Um, I have been catching UTIs for the entire 19 months that I have been locked up in Maricopa County. Um, these people, they don't care. They, they, just, they just here for a paycheck. I'm not the only person that's going through this with the medical team that's here. Um, I have been also um, targeted by 
the um, the sergeant, her name is Sergeant Bowser. She's a hearing sergeant, and they have placed me in a hole twice for things that um, I didn't do. So um, things has just not been going too well for me since I've been in here. Mm-hmm. But on the right side, I do have some kind of peace because I am a believer and um, and I know at the end of the day I will prevail. So with that said, I just want the world to know that I am still alive. I was shot on August 5th of 2018. Um, the officer that um, shot me, he's a 26-year-old. Um, actually, he's probably about 20, 28 right now. He is, um, he is the partner of Officer Wade. I, I can't remember his name at this point. Um, but uh, he is the partner of Officer Wade. And Officer Wade is the the officer that has been harassing me mm-hmm. on numerous occasions. I also have him on video harassing me. Um, but that also will be part of my defense when it comes to me being targeted and setting up for these drug charges that I'm sitting here facing right now. Um, so let me ask you this, bro. What, um, when it comes to your like physical therapy and healthcare, what is their excuse for not doing what they're supposed to be doing? Well, um, the excuse that they have given me the, the physical therapist here, um, his excuse is basically he ha- he he deals with multiple people that's in my condition and usually. Um, if you are a person that has no movement by now, you want you, there's nothing that he can do to um, to help that. The only thing he can. This call is originating from the Maricopa County Fourth Avenue Jail. He gave me the piece of paper with exercise, um, little um people on there to show me how to exercise, I guess, to just keep my strength up. <laughs> right. And the majority of the, the exercises I can't do on my own, so I most definitely need someone that can do it. So um, he won't recommend me to outside therapy. So um, I, I, I'm not getting into therapy as yet. I see that. How, so when it comes to, so not only, so you got lack of therapy, how is your, um, how's your pain going? Like, how's that? Um, the pain, I have been, um, forced to deal with the pain forcefully. Um, the medications that they're giving me, they're giving me a nerve, a nerve medication, Mm -hmm. um, Basically, that medication is to, to make it more tolerable of the burning mm-hmm. sensation that I um, that I that I have mm-hmm. due to the nerve damage. Yeah. As far as pain, pain, um, I was on um, oxycodone fifteens, and I'm supposed to take it four times a day, mm-hmm. and it, they don't um, allow you to. Um, have any opiates in, in the jail. So I've been dealing with the pain for 19 months since I've been in here. Um, and I only get medication in the morning time between 10 mm-hmm. in the morning. And I don't get medication anymore until a lot of times around 10, 30, 11 at night. Mm-hmm. That's a shame, bro. So let me, um, how can, how can people get in contact with you 
or how can they support you with what's going on? Because, you know, I'm going to put it out on my platforms and stuff like that. But is there a number of someone that we could be calling to inquire about your care? Like, how do we um, how do we help you? Jail. All right, bro. Again, the number is four eight. Yeah, go ahead. Say it again. Once again, the number is four eight zero four nine five sixteen twenty five. Her name is Lola. Okay. Um, you can get in touch with her, mm-hmm. um, and she will. Um, she have resources and, and everything. So, okay. We can uh, talk with her about it. Okay. All right, bro. Is there anything else you wanna um you wanna put out before our call get disconnected? Well, yes. I, I just I want I just want my my story to be pushed. You know. Um. I want it to be pushed here in Arizona. Um, they don't support um, police brutality like like you, like other um, states support it. Okay. Um, when I first got shot, the, um, I put out a, um, a GoFundMe page, and it was almost no one uh, supported it. Um, I had press conferences, almost no one came. Mm-hmm. Um, and I am a true victim of police brutality. Like, um, I, ne- I didn't have any weapon, I didn't pose any threat. The only thing I did, I was running. Right. And the police, he decided, because he couldn't catch me, he decided to shoot me. Instead of tasing me, he decided to shoot me. Right. The coward way. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I just want more people to get involved and pushing my story right now. Um, they, they, they put me in jail to quiet me up. Mm-hmm. Um, I should have, like, I should have been all over um, the media, especially when George Floyd got shot, especially um, with with the um, the value of police um, shootings that has been, that has been taking place within the last year and a half. Mm-hmm. I should have been one of those people um, out there. Um, on the news, um, in the media, but this is their plan. They didn't want me out there, so they set me up on drug charges um, to put me in here to quiet me up. So, if anyone um, care enough, I would love for them to just push my story. You uh, know, um, as far as they can push it, because at this point. Um, I'm, I'm quiet. I can't. I can't be in the media. I'm, I'm behind the locked door, and it's like they have forgotten about me. So yes, I'm, I'm all over YouTube. Mm-hmm. Um, you can look me up at Edward Brown shot by Phoenix PD. Um, I'm gonna make sure they get. I'm gonna make sure they get all them links so they can look at your stuff, bro. No, I haven't seen it myself. I will this see it. This call is originating from the Maricopa County Fourth Avenue Jail. By the time I post, by the time I post this recording, I've I would have been watched it. Right, and 
it's, it's, it's real um, graphic, it's shaping. So, you know, just um, brace yourself when, when, when you look at it. Okay. And the family that you see on there, um, um, they're, they are no longer in my corner. Um, so, I wish I could, I wish I could, um, do some type of cropping to get them out of here, but unfortunately I can't, so, um, and I just also want everybody to know about, um, the attorneys that was on my case named Sandra Slayton and Tom Horn, they are, um, attorneys that I would never recommend to anyone they withdrew from my case. Um, and then they tried to get back on my case um, I guess about six months ago, but I was able to hire um, some very, very um, great attorneys that heard my story and they were open arms willing to just take my story and, 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 and go all the way with it and fighting for me. So, um, yes. Tom Horn and Sam. You have one minute remaining. They are no good, so I would love the world to know about them. They, they, they are no good, and if anyone um, has those as attorneys, hurry up and get rid of them, because they, they won't do anything for you. Okay. I'm going to make sure this information gets put out there, okay? Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm going to be in touch. And you have a blessing. people. Thank you. You too. Yes. All right. You have a good one. All right. You too, bro. Keep your head. All right. All right. Thanks for accepting the call and doing this for me. Oh, for sure. No problem. Mm-hmm. All right. Bye bye. Thank you for using GTL. I'm going to make sure I post the link so y'all can look more into this case. Um,. Like he said, please be prepared for uh, the film that you will see when it shows him being shot. Your discretion is advised. Too many times are people, American people, people are being shot down by the police and they're unarmed. We got to do something about that. Chicago J. Renee.